Okay, so Twilight of a Crane is written by Yuzua Junji Kinoshita, and uh, this belongs to the. This is a Japanese folk tale, and it belongs to the modern Japanese dramatic tradition. Any other ideas? Yes, this drama highlights the theme nature versus materialism. Yeah, that's true. Nature versus materialism. That is one of the themes. Yeah, anything else? We we'll write that one also. Highlights the theme. Nature versus materialism. So nature is represented by Sue in the drama and materialism is represented by those two villainous characters, Anzu and Zodo. Right, so any other things about the drama? This is uh, uh, translated into English by Taskeshi Kurahashi. Taskeshi Kurahashi. That's also a Japanese person. Yeah, this drama shows how people change and uh, get corrupted due to money. Yes, that's true. How people shows how people suddenly change due to the greediness for money. Yes, includes human weaknesses. It is a human weakness actually, getting uh, suddenly changing due to the greediness for money. That is a human weakness, the uh, weakness, talks about human weaknesses. Yes, so in this drama, the thing is, uh, uh, it is about a woman who is really a crane, He's a, she's a crane, Sue was a crane, and uh, she became the wife of Yo-Yo because Yo-Yo once saved her life, saved uh, Sue's life. So uh, paying gratitude for saving his life, saving her life, Sue uh, uh, becomes the wife of the you, wife of Yo-Yo, Yo-Yo is a mortal man and uh, Sue is a crane who belongs to the nature and uh, she is paying gratitude for Yo-Yo to save, for saving her life and the, so, the, uh, the story is woven around uh, the characters uh, Sue, Yo-Yo, their husband and wife and uh, the other two villainous characters, Anzu and Zodo. So, uh, and also another character time to time uh, pops out here, the children. Children are singing song and children symbolizes, uh, uh, children have been used to highlight the themes of the poem, right? Sorry, not the poem, the drama to highlight the themes of the drama, the play. And uh, the other thing is the children always uh, represent innocence. Children represent innocence. So here we can find uh, about children there. Children represents innocence. Okay, I hope that you have a uh, made the side notes by now. Okay, so let me go to the 
drama now twilight of a crane yuzuwa junji kinoshita and uh, yeah so this is so uh it's it said how to uh, read those words su so, yo yo and uh, zodo anzu and children okay so it tells a tumble down hut in a field covered with snow the setting sun is illuminating the western sky the children's song is heard from a distance so can you tell me now this is the setting of the drama no the first setting of the drama so can you tell me anything about the setting what kind of feeling that you are getting when you read this covered with snow setting sun and illumi illuminating the western sky what do you feel by this Uh, it seems to be a rural area, and uh, this story must be connected with a poor agricultural community. Yeah, because they are in a hut, no? They are in a hut covered with snow. Uh, maybe this is a agricultural setting. They are in an agricultural setting, and uh, 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 the other thing is, however, this. seems to be very pleasant right nothing embarrassing is there yes happens during the winter season yes this is the winter season so setting signifies that setting signifies that it is the winter season but the setting is pleasant right though it uh, tells about hot the setting is pleasant we don't see anything rude there or something disturbing or it's a very pleasant setting Yes, it's the evening time. It's the evening time. Evening time. Evening time, and it's uh, faintly illuminated. Faintly illumin illuminated. because it tells illuminating the western sky faintly illuminating the western sky and then uh, i i also wanted to tell you now the title of this play is twilight of a crane so what do you mean by twilight can somebody tell me what do you mean by twilight Mm, twilight means duality. Okay, uh, I'm just asking the surface meaning of twilight. Okay, finishing. Uh, okay, finishing. So this is actually twi between night and the morning. Yeah. Uh, so. actually twilight is there are several answers from you and uh, twilight is the soft light the soft light of the sky seen before 
the rising and after the setting of the sun. So that is uh, just the surface meaning of this. So this time it's illuminating the Earth's atmosphere not a direct sharp light but a soft light or uh, faintly illuminated Okay, and you said several things about twilight. Uh, now, this is the surface meaning, no? So, uh, if, we, if we go to the literal meaning of uh, twilight, what do you mean by them? Yes, what are your answers? Twilight. So uh, there is a kind of an idiomatic meaning also. What do you mean by that? So it's like the, the literal meaning or the idiomatic meaning is uh, the final part, the final part of a period. So who is experiencing the twilight in this uh, play? Who is experiencing the twilight in this play? Yes, who is experiencing the twilight? Yes, please answer. Who is experiencing the final part of a period? In the play. Yeah, it's Sue. It's Sue. Yes, it's Sue. Sue is having the last few days with Yo-Yo in this uh, drama. Right? So then uh, she has to give up all his dreams and hopes due to money. Okay, so and she's getting fainted. Getting, uh, getting her life fainted at the moment. So it's the last few final part of his life, part of her life, the crane's life. So that's why it's named as Twilight of a Crane. Right. So uh, there are also some other meanings. And uh, Twilight also refers to uh, like a shadow shadow to the society so uh, sue is actually a fine shadow to the society because she is a perfect creature she is very lovable 
uh, and very responsible and uh, go having good virtues with her. So it's like a twilight, another meaning we can say as a shadow to the society. Twilight. Sue's character can be taken, right? So there are several uh, examples, ex uh, several meanings you can take for this. Okay, somebody told about uh, duality. Duality, twilight is duality. That also we can take in a way, then it's not the crane, the dual aspect is with yo-yo, right? So you can anyway, uh, it's not wrong. You can explain it in any way, but you should have proof. You should have proof to tell that. Okay, so I suppose that it's about uh, Sue and we can talk more about Sue using this effect of twilight because her life is getting fainter at the moment and she's spending the final part of life. And instead, she is like a shadow to the society. Okay. So then, uh, and in this drama, how Yo-Yo and Sue has been introduced. How Yo-Yo and Sue has been introduced. Can you tell me just some ideas? how Yo-Yo and Sue has been introduced. So if you say uh, Sue's character, yeah, they are, uh, they are husband and wife. I'm asking about their characteristics, their features. Yeah, Sue is a part of nature, yes, that's true. What else? Others? Amani, do you have any idea? as a part of nature chamindi mm. okay at the beginning of the drama they have been introduced they have been introduced uh, They have been introduced as a lovable, cooperative, and happy couple. Obviously, yes. Uh, they have been introduced as a, a lovable, cooperative, and happy couple. Yeah. And there's another uh, answer is there. Sue is beautiful and capable of showing true love. Yes. So, yes, yeah, Sue is a simple character promote simplicity and uh, yo yo is an innocent character but he is greedy for money yes so now i'm first asking about sue so sue is a part of nature beautiful beautiful uh Simple, innocent, a beloved wife, beloved and 
responsible wife responsible wife and brings happiness and prosperity to her husband yeah so that is about sue she is very lovable and uh, simple character yes there are some other uh, suggestions to describe the uh, Sue's character. It says uh, she is honest, joyful, intelligent, generous, and uh, yeah, she sacrifices everything. So that's why we told she is a responsible wife and brings happiness and prosperity. Right? She is honest and honest. and a symbol of true love honest and a symbol of true love yeah so that's about sue what about yo yo you said that yo yo is a innocent character uh, character but he is greedy for money so he is easily deceivable anybody can deceive him uh, quickly yes he is sensitive yo yo is poor simple and sensitive okay i will write yo yo's character Yo yo is a humble villager who loves his beloved wife immensely Yeah anyone can manipulate him yes anyone can manipulate him easily anyone can deceive him easily kind hearted symbolizes human kind that's true symbolizes human kind and the changes sudden changes of human behavior and thoughts good any other answers yeah in a way he is a foolish one he can be corrupted easily yes yes very naive and timid very naive and timid yeah a committed husband as well but uh, later he changes so uh, his judgments are like uh, 
lack of knowledge to take proper judgment. And she's also having a childlike behavior. When you say naive, uh, all these things are included when you say naive uh, and timid. Okay, so that's about Yo-Yo's character. So I did not start the drama, still discussing about the characters. Uh, I, I didn't talk about Anzu and Zodo because we can talk about them once we go through the drama. And uh, so presently we can talk about the, I talked about the setting of the drama and the two, uh, the two characters, the most important two characters here the husband and wife, Sue and Yo-Yo. And I told you, children uh, symb children also symbolizes innocence. And the, 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 the playwright has used the children in this play to emphasize the themes because the themes are usually goes with innocence and love. So, uh, Children have also been effectively used by the, uh, the dramatist, right? Okay, so uh, we'll go through the text of the drama the next day and we'll discuss more about the drama. So uh, next day, and uh, I hope you will remember these things until next day. And... Uh, we will discuss part by part. I will go through the whole drama and we'll discuss the important points and uh, we'll tell you, to, we'll ask you to take side notes like this and uh, we'll explain you more about the drama next day. So, uh, yeah, until that, uh, those who are new to the class, you can uh, send me a message and uh, join it if you like. And... Uh, yeah, so I hope you will write answers as well. The next day as well, uh, I will send you a question to the group from the previous lessons we did and you can answer for that. And uh, I will probably send you a question from To The Nile and we'll continue the drama from next day.